Uh, welcome to Eng Classes YouTube channel. In this video, we'll consider sketching of even and odd part of a given signal. Let x of t looks something like this. So this is the given signal x of t. The task is to sketch its even and odd parts. So how do I sketch? For this, uh, first I should know what is the even part of the signal. For this, I have a formula x e of t, which is equal to one divided by two into bracket x of t plus x of minus t. So this is uh, the formula to sketch even part of a signal. So if I want to sketch its odd part, x o of t is equal to one divided by two into bracket x of t minus x of minus t. So this is the formula to sketch odd part of the signal. So first we shall consider the formula of even part of the signal x e of t. So if I look at the formula. To get the even part of any signal x e of t, I must know what is x of t, which is uh, given straight away, and I must also know what is x of minus t. So once I know these two signals, I have to add them. Later, I have to divide it by two. So that's all to get the even part of any given signal. For time being, I know what is x of t, but I don't know what is x of minus t. So if I could find what is x of minus t, add it and divide it by two, I would get x of x e of t. So, to get x of minus t, first I should sketch what is x of minus t. So, how do I sketch x of minus t? X of minus t is the mirror image of x of t. So, I would call x of minus t is the mirror image of x of t, or it is also called as the flipped signal of x of t. So, whatever is there. Onto x-axis will get flipped. So, for example, the time axis is minus one. So this would become plus one. So zero remains as it is. So here I have plus one and plus two. So these two will become minus one and minus two. So this will be my time axis because I have got the flipped version. I have to flip the signal. I have to take the mirror image of the signal along this vertical axis. So whatever I have here, just fold it. So I would get the mirror image. So how do I get that? So whatever you have, the signal for x of t, I have to draw its flipped version or the mirror version. So this is how ultimately the signal x of minus t would look like. So this is the amplitude one. This will be the amplitude minus one. So this is x of minus t. So now I have got what is x of t and x of minus t. The next The task is I have to sketch it. Addition of these two signals, I would call it as x of t plus x of minus t. Uh, first, I would add. Later, I would uh, divide it by two to get the even part. So, how do I add? So, first, uh, let me write down all the limits, possible limits. This is zero. I have one here. And I have two also here with respect to first signal, so I would write the limits first. Next, here I have minus one with respect to this, and with respect to second signal, I also have a minus two as well. So these are the possible limits which I which the signal uh, may get uh, for the addition of these two signals. So let me add these two signals uh, uh, time by time. So let me check the value at minus two to minus one. So for the position minus two to minus one, let me start from the extreme left. So I would start from extreme left. I would and uh, later I would uh, move on to extreme right. Minus two to minus one. This is the shape of the signal. And if I look here, minus two to minus one, nothing is there. So it is add addition of this with the zero. What do I get? This signal itself. So minus two to minus one. So this is what I would get minus two to minus one. This is the shape of the signal plus zero. I would get this part minus two to minus one. Then minus one. So let me check at x of t. X of t at my position minus one. This is zero. So let me consider this at the position minus one. This has the value of one. So I'm adding a zero plus one. I'm getting one at the position zero. 
I'm getting this point. So later, let me join these two points. So this is what I get at the position minus one. So let me check the value at the position zero. At the position zero, the value of this signal is one. And at the position zero, the value of this signal is one. So I'm adding these two signals. It is one plus one so that I would get two. So this is one, this is two. So at the position zero, I'm getting a point two. I'm getting an amplitude two. So previous point was here, current point is here. So I need to join these two signals. So this is how uh, I would get the signal at the position uh, zero. So next, let me check the value at the position one. At the position one, if I look here, it is taking two values. One is plus one, another is minus one. And at the position one, it is taking only one value that is zero. It doesn't have uh, any ambiguity here. But with respect to x of t at the position one, it is taking two values. So which value I should consider now? So it is uh, very simple. So as I'm moving from zero to one, at the position one, I'll take the amplitude as one. Getting it? So once I move from one to two, at the same position one, I'll take the amplitude as minus one. Getting it? So that way we can uh, interpret it and solve it. So as we are moving from zero to one, at the position one, I'll take the amplitude as one. So one plus zero, I would get one. So this is the point. Previously, this was the point. So now I would join these two points. This is how I get. Getting it? So next is, at the position one, I need to check it again because it is taking two values. So zero to one, I considered and I took the value at one. That part is done. So now I'm moving from one to two. At the position one, I'm taking the value as minus one. At the position one, let the amplitude be minus one. Minus one plus zero. So I would get minus one only. So how do I sketch that? So at the position one, amplitude is minus one. So previous point was here. So now I need to join these two points. So this is how the signal looks like. So next, uh, let me check the value at uh, position two. At position two, again, it has two values. One is uh, minus one, another is zero. So as I'm moving from one to two, let me check, uh, take the value as uh, minus one. Minus one, here I don't have anything, plus zero, I would get minus one only. So at the position two, I'm getting it as minus one. So later I need to join these two points. Getting it? So let me check the value again at the position two. At the position two, the value of this is zero now. So previously considered as minus one, now would I consider it as uh, zero. Zero plus zero, it is zero only. So at the position two, I would sketch zero. So later I join these two things. So this is how I get the addition of these two signals. So what is the next task? To get the even part, I have to add the signals later, I have to divide it by two. So only thing is I have not done the division of uh, two. So let me do that. So if I divide this by two, what do I get? Only thing is amplitude reduces. So this two divided by two would become one. And this becomes one by two. This becomes minus one by two. That's it. So that is how uh, the final even and uh, even part of the signal looks something like this. Only thing is amplitude reduces by a factor of two. I hope I'm clear for uh, clear with this. So next thing is uh, to get uh, the odd part. To get the odd part, so let me sketch the signal for that here. This is T. This I would call it as X of T minus X of minus T. So I need to subtract those two signals. Let me write first all the possible limits. So looking at uh, X of T, X of minus T. X of T is taking 0, 1, 2. So I would write a 0, 1, 2. And X of minus T is taking a 0, minus 1, minus 2. So let me write those values as well. Minus 1, minus 2. So whatever the signal 
uh, I subtract and divide it by 2. It, it takes its shape uh, between uh, this region only. Minus 2 to plus 2. Getting it? So let me start uh, from the extreme left that is minus 2. So these two are the signal. Now I need to subtract these two signals. So if I subtract what do I get? So at the position minus 2 to minus 1. At the position minus 2 to minus 1 the amplitude is minus 1. Here it is 0. So I am actually doing 0 minus of minus 1. I would get plus 1. Getting it? I say 0 minus of minus 1. I would get plus 1. That is from minus 2 to plus 1. I would get plus 1. So this is how it looks like. So previously it was minus 1. Now it is plus 1. This is how it looks like. At the position minus 1, I will consider it again because at the position minus 1, you, if you take the signal, it is taking two values. One is minus 1 and that is plus 1. So this part is we are already done. So let me take the value at, at the position minus 1. I will take it as plus 1. So now 0 minus plus 1. I am getting it as minus 1. 0 minus 1. I would get it as minus 1. At the position minus 1, I would get one more point minus 1. So let me join these two points. So this is how it is uh, uh, looking for time being. 0 minus 1, it is minus 1. So next, let me check the value at the position 0. At the position 0, the amplitude is 1. At the position 0, the amplitude is 1. So we are doing 1 minus 1, I would get 0. At the position 0, I am getting it as 0. So previous point was here. Let me join these two points. Fine. So let me move ahead. Uh, con consider the value at position 1. So this is tricky here. At the position 1, it is taking two values. One is plus 1, another is minus 1. So as I am moving from 0 to 1, I would first consider the value at uh, 1. The amplitude as 1. So at the position 1, this is 1 minus. 0 I would get 1 at the position 1 I am getting the value as 1 so previously point was here so let me join these two points so this is how the signal uh, looks like at the position 1 so what are, what we are left with uh, then at the position 1 again at the position 1 again so now I am considering minus 1 so this is minus 1 minus 0. So what do I get? Minus 1. So this is at the position 1 amplitude is minus 1. Minus 1 minus 0. It is minus 1. So at the position 1, I am getting one more value as minus 1. So this is the point. So later uh, let me join these two points. This is how it is looking for time being. This is at the position minus 1. So let me check the value at uh, position 2 now. At the position 2, just check here. It is taking two values. First I will take it as minus 1. At the position 2, I am taking it as minus 1. So here I don't have uh, anything. So minus 1 minus 0. It is minus 1 only. So at the position 2 also I am getting it as minus 1. So previous point was here. So let me join these two points. So this is how I am getting now. Next task is at the position 2 I will take the amplitude as 0 now. At the position 2 I will take it as 0. At the position 2 nothing is there. So 0 minus 0 I would get 0 at the value of 2 at the position of 2. I am getting it as 0. So previous point was here. Let me join these two points. This is how the finally the signal odd part looks like this. So what is the last task? I need to divide it by 2. So these amplitudes was 1 and this was minus 1. So if I divide it by 2 it becomes 1 by 2 and this would become minus 1 by 2. So finally this is half the even part and this is the odd part look like. 
uh, thanks for watching so in the next video we'll consider a few more examples thank you